Now, one of the other things, speaking of the Nordyke twins, uh, is that their documents seem to have been reduced to microfiche, and Barack Obama's was not. Am I correct on that? Well, that's, again, one of the problems is that if you take a look, Mrs. Nordyke, about a year uh, after the Barack Obama released this supposed short-form uh, birth certificate, which I think was also a forgery, uh, I think that was the original forgery, um, Mrs. Nordyke said, well, my twins were born the next day, and she shows up in the Hawaii newspapers holding the copy of the birth certificates that she got in 1966 from the Hawaii Department of Health for her twins. And they were photostatic copies of microfilm where the her twins' birth certificates had been reduced to microfilm. Now, if that had been the case for the records in 1961, Barack Obama's birth certificate should have been a microfilm record. But yet that's not what was released by the Hawaii Department of Health on April 27th this year. It looks like a printed form that looks like the modern birth certificates being released by Hawaii. And what happened to the photostat? I mean, again, Hawaii has refused to answer any questions about the document chain, the nature of the birth certificate record for Obama. And Hawaii refuses to let anybody see the original birth certificate, which remains in the vault in Hawaii. One of the other things that jumps out at one uh, when reviewing this thing is that it differs from what various people told us it was going to be. Now, for instance, the previous head of the Department of Health in Hawaii, Fukino, is on record as saying that the document was half written and half typed. So we all expected it to be half written and half typed when it came out, but it was not. Well, and also, uh, I've written about this extensively, Governor Abercrombie, when he came into office, said he was going to find the Obama birth record. And all Abercrombie told the Hawaiian newspapers he could find was a, a log item entry in a journal that uh, Obama has been born. And I think that was what was there resulting from the grandparents registering the birth. Uh, Hawaii has been the easiest state in the country to get a birth certificate from. All you basically got to do is have the family come and give testimony that the baby was born in Hawaii and to get a Hawaiian birth certificate. Obama had really wanted to prove that he was born in Hawaii, and the records were there to justify it. Why wouldn't he have told the Hawaii Department of Health to open their records to public examination and independent forensic examination? And Fox has been covering for Barack Obama. And that becomes obvious to the American people. There will be a major backlash against Fox. Uh, Fox News, and we're going to talk to General Bellaley in a little bit, uh, has apparently been uh, told not to discuss this. My next guest is Major General Paul Vallely. He is a graduate of the West Point Academy. He was a military analyst on Fox News for seven years. He currently lectures on national security matters. He is the co-author of books such as Endgame, The Blueprint for Victory for Winning the War on Terror, Baghdad Ablaze, and War Footing, and currently is the chairman of the Stand Up America Project. General Vallely, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Happy to be with you from the mountains of Montana. Fantastic. I know you're out there looking for bears, so keep keep one eye on the bear and one eye on the cell phone while we're talking. <laughs> All right, there you go. Uh, now, the reason I've got you on today is that I believe you to be unquestionably the most unimpeachable witness who has come forward to state that the birth certificate, the long-form birth certificate released by President Barack Obama is, in fact, a forgery. How did you come to that opinion? Well, when it was first produced, of course, we had seen copies of it far before uh, the White House released that same copy of uh, Live Birth. Uh, and it was apparent at that time that there were many indis indiscriminacies uh, in that document. So after uh, Obama released it at the White House, uh, we had a number of technicians uh, who went over it, and, and they had to layer it. Uh, is what they call it in that business. They can actually unlayer a document and go through and see if there's anything that was posted on one or copied or used uh, Adobe or some form of uh, a 
Photoshop, you know, all of those high-tech programs they use today, and clearly the majority of the analysts, not one, did not say it was not a forgery. How many and analysts looked so, uh, at it? I, I, I'm sorry, General. How many? I only had uh, I only had three, but I got feedback from some other retired CIA uh, uh, analysts uh, that they had looked at it as well. So I would take their word for it over uh, the the White House uh, in, in that regard. We know that the old Dominion uh, College uh, records that were released uh, indicate that he applied there for student aid as a foreign student. Well, I was with Fox for seven years. I was their first military analyst after 9-11. They hired me uh, in September of uh, 2001, and, uh, of course, uh, at that time I covered most of the Middle East conflicts and uh, the war against radical Islam, and uh, I'm not in a contract with Fox now, but certainly Fox has been told the host and have to stay away from it. We know that from some inside information. Well, that's right. You can see uh, what's going on on Hannity. Glenn Beck was taken to task because he started to probe, and then he backed off. Uh, O'Reilly is totally clueless. Uh, he thinks everything's up, but it's okay, right? in order, but I know from some of the people at Fox that I have uh, uh, connected with uh, that they basically were put out, let's not touch this issue. We have a room full of computer experts, and we're going to go through the Obama document one line at a time. And I, too, was, was dragged into this more or less against my will by a, an associate of mine, uh, who emailed me uh, shortly after the release, I thought the entire thing was over, and said, you have to look at this. It is a obvious forgery. And I said, oh, get out. I, and I, I thought I was actually being punked by someone who I used to do some work with, and as it turns out, it was not the case. So you thought he actually went in and doctored the document and then sent it to you, and that's why it was such a poor forgery? Yeah, I mean, that was my first my first blush guess when I opened it up and started going through it was that, oh, the, you know, you went in and you screwed with this. And so then what I, what I did was I grabbed an official copy from the White House and ran a cryptographic checksum against them, and they were identical. They were turned different ways. And if it was just a scanner picking them up, you know, I can understand that they would all be scaled one way just because it's making it bigger or whatnot. But the, the fact that different parts of the birth certificate were scaled different sizes, it really seemed fishy. Uh, let me let me move over to uh, Joseph Newcomer as kind of the the granddaddy of us all here in terms of pointing out fake documents, uh, having become somewhat of a national figure uh, during the CBS slash George Bush slash National Guard uh, fiasco. Uh, and to have both my birth certificate here and also my daughter's. Um, along with car titles and, you know, the kind of things that are on official paper that everybody has. And I've spent days with my scanner and Adobe Acrobat, the, the fully licensed version, going through trying to get something that looks like what we were given. And I can't do it. I cannot, no matter how much time I spend with the software, no matter what settings I use, I cannot get anything that looks anything like what Obama's birth certificate file looks like on the White House website. The Associated Press scanned and published what they were given at that meeting. That document does not show any optimization artifacts. It is a straight scan with no gains. I can state that authoritatively because I've looked at that file in depth. Here's the problem. The paper that that document scanned on has a baby blue background. How did the same piece of paper magically transmute the color of the paper between the time the White House got it and the Associated Press got it? Well, uh, the obvious answer is that this is a fraudulent document. <laughs> it's definitely been modified with. I think that they, the fact that it's been edited does make it a fraudulent document. That would be my stance on this. Tom Harrison, your thoughts? No, 
it is clearly a forgery 